Brittany, here Gosh. is your nursery. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh my. <gasps> All right, Brittany, so what are we doing today? What am I going to look at? Oh my goodness, you're going to die what the room looks like up there. But I'm kind of scared. <laughs> you should be scared a little bit. But I want my dream nursery. This is actually going to be the first nursery that I've ever had. I have a 14-year-old daughter, and when I had her, I was living with my parents. So we just made it work. You know, the bed was there, the crib was there, but it, nothing was on purpose. Right. So I know there's a lot of construction happening, and I know we're almost done with the first floor. Almost, and then it's almost there. Now we're tackling the second floor. It's like a whole nother project. Yeah, and she's coming soon, so oh, well, no pressure. No pressure. Thank <laughs> you for trusting me with all of that and adding the pressure. <laughs> so let's go check out the space. Okay, amazing. Yeah. Brittany, I'm so excited to see the nursery. I know I've seen it like before, but I haven't seen what you've been using it for. Okay, oh. <laughs> this is... A catch-all. Yes. This is my catch-all room. This is where we get new arrivals. Uh -huh. And this room was before I found out I was pregnant, too. Uh -huh. So we didn't really have an intention for it to be a nursery. But now with baby on the way, nursery is what it's going to be. Uh. And I think it has so much potential, but yeah. it's just there's everything possible in here that does need to be in here. So in terms of like aesthetic and vibe, like what are you thinking in here? Well, I obviously want your opinion. I don't want to go with a neutral nursery. I okay. want something a little bit more colorful, inspirational. I totally love that and I think it's like the right approach because one, it's a nursery. I feel like color is so important for infants and when they're growing up, it just really True. drives and influences like their creativity and their mood and the setting is so beautiful with the backdrop with all the trees and just kind of where the house is located. I'm getting like little bungalow vibes, like LA bungalow yeah. that I feel like if you're open to it, I'd love to continue that in here and almost make it like a little retro 60 cool mod prints. Yes, and like, I love that. Uh, the, like, I'm thinking more of like the muted pinks and like paprikas and oranges. Yes. And Her due date's in August, so a summer baby. So oh, I love that. So cute. The colorful, the warm tones too. Love it. And then in terms of prints, like you're going to be open to that. Yeah. And amazing. And I would love to do some kind of art on the walls yeah. or, yeah. Maybe we use this so wall as like a here. featured art wall. Oh gosh, um, I love that. In terms of storage, uh, how much are you thinking? Like, do we want to tackle the, the closet? Are you going to use it for only the baby or? Yeah, the closet's going to be only baby. Right now, that's still a lot of my catch-all. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the closet we didn't know what to do with when we first moved in. I'm thinking maybe we add a really fun like dresser and mm, it can okay. be something that has a little bit more color and then it also serves like for more storage and you can put diapers and yeah. little I don't even know what babies really mean. I know I'm actually still <laughs> trying to remember I mean I have a 14 year old but I'm so far removed from the baby stage that this I'm will gonna be a need challenge all your me. notes I'm like baby needs like, uh, diapers what do they need and clothes. exactly. <laughs> And then on this side, what are the things that you really are going to need in here? I'm open to what you think, but I do know I'll need a crib. <laughs> well, that's important, so we'll give you a crib. What about crib. like Oh, a, changing table yeah, for like sure. Yeah, like changing table. Do you feel like you'll do that in here or in the Yeah, room? I want to keep everything as much in here for the Amazing. baby as I could. Also, I'm going to be breastfeeding, so okay. I'd like a space where I can come and sit down and feel comfortable and a little escape too. Oh, nice. What about like an area rug? Do you feel like you're going to be sitting on the floor? Is yeah, that something I that you will. Okay. And Jaden will probably be in here with me, helping with the baby. So if I'm nursing, she could maybe be helping me fold or do clothes. Oh, cute. Helping out in that sense too. So that would be really helpful. So maybe we do like a shaggier rug that feels really comfortable in okay. here. Okay, yeah, I love that. And then I think let's dress up the ceiling. Um, I'm going back to that bungalow idea and that whole kind of 60s retro vibe. If you're open to cladding the ceiling with like wood little beams, um, oh. just to make it a little more cozier and just kind of ground to the whole space, yeah. that could be really cute. I love this already. And as you know, from designing the rest of my house, uh -huh. lighting is super important to yeah. me. I love as much natural light but I would also like to be able to put the baby down and have more control of the light to where it can be a little bit more of a darker space. Where she, right. Mm -hmm. But what do you think would be a good solution for that? Like right off the top of my head, I definitely want to, I'm looking at that there's no recessed lighting in here. Yeah. So maybe we add four with like a warmer tone okay. so that it doesn't get harsh lighting above head. Okay. But we'll add no, some that sounds like really good. decorative pieces here and there and then keeping everything warm. Cause you know, I hate cool light. <laughs> It's so bad for your eyes too. It's I just love, horrible. yeah. So chair, crib, changing table, area rug, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah, those are the main essentials. Perfect. Let's go downstairs. I want to sketch it all out for you, and then we can okay. see what we're talking about. Amazing. Cool. So 
now that I've seen the space, I kind of want to uh, draw down some ideas. This is definitely the space right now. This is it. A like, <laughs> lot cleaner than it looks right now. So I'm just going to start drawing in um, the floor plan. We'll do the crib here. Maybe we do the a nice like seating moment here next mm -hmm. to the crib so that if you're like picking up the baby from the crib, you walk over and sit down and that becomes a moment. Yeah. And then we'll do a little ottoman. Okay. And then I'm thinking the changing tables on this side. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That way when you walk in, you don't see it right away. So Brittany, we have a lot to do. Yes. And I know we have like a, a tight hard, time schedule. A very tight schedule. What are we thinking in terms of deadline? Like Two months would be ideal. Okay. If we can keep it to two months, then that would be perfect. That makes Let's me feel comfortable. Two months is a good good time. Okay. I feel like it's gonna fall somewhere between like the twenty and twenty five range. Okay. Um, if you're comfortable with that, yeah. then we'll. No, and it's something that I'm gonna be investing in because it is. I want to keep it the same. I don't want to have right. to update it each year. So I want it to be nice, and I'm just so glad I have you because honestly. It would probably look like that, and I would just put a crib in the corner. <laughs> I don't know what you I would do. You focus on this, <laughs> let me focus on this, and I have to go. <laughs> you have to get sourcing. Yes. So it's been about a month and we are down to the final touches for Brittany's nursery. We are gonna install all the furniture, start making it look really pretty. We ended up finishing up the closet doors. We added the cladding in the ceiling and the cork wall behind and it's all coming together and we're really excited to get her in and her new baby. Do we wanna push it a little bit back? Don't you think, yeah, that looks good. You might I love the style of the crib because it has curved edges that made it kind of feel a little bit more retro with what we were trying to create in the space. We wanted the space to almost have this like very cool 60s bungalow vibe retro feeling. Um, and again, with the neon and then you see the curved edges, it feels a little bit more like mid-century modern. Nice and centered, perfect. We just thought it was a perfect crib for the space. Ta-da! <laughs> we love introducing neon into different spaces because I feel like it really activates the space and it makes it feel really fun and light. And when we turn it on, the colors are so muted and beautiful that it's not like your super bright neon. It just makes the space feel really calm and serene. So since we already have the neon sign on there, Paloma, I think we should add some really beautiful family pictures for the baby to kind of grow up with. We really wanted this wall to evolve with her um, so that when the crib is out and her bed is in, she can then start putting up all of her favorite posters. And we think longevity, so we're already thinking as like her being in her teenage years, it'll just uh, be ever changing with her and really just grow and surround herself with things that just bring her joy. That looks cute. cute. Yeah. yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move the glider on this side and give Brittany a little moment where she can breastfeed here, feed the baby. She'll have a beautiful little ottoman where she can rest her feet up. Oh yeah, I love it. This is my baby. Okay. And then we'll have a mobile that's hanging up so that when she's um, feeding the baby, the baby has something visually nice to look at. And then it'll just become a really cozy corner. Voila. Oh, that looks really good. So the plan for this corner is to put the changing table on this side. When we first came into the space to space plan, we saw this little nook here and we realized like this would be the perfect place to put the changing table so that when you're walking into the space, if Brittany and the baby get a little bit messy, no one's really seeing it and it kind of hides it on this side. Uh, but it also gives us an opportunity to put some art along the wall and make it feel a little bit more dressed up and not so like... Oh, uh, it's just a changing table area. Like we want to make sure that that looks really beautiful. And then we can add the changing table here. Then that gives her a nice area to change the baby. And then we can add some fun little moments. The changing table comes with a piece. So um, the reason we like it is because you can kind of put it on either side, depending on how your room is uh, laid out. Ah, uh, this came out so beautiful. This is a real plant. Her name is Audrey. <laughs> They're Audrey Ficus. They do really well indoors. They're really low maintenance, which is why we introduce them into a lot of indoor spaces. And adding plants really then activates the, the space and the sensory of having something living. And then you have a newborn and you have a plant that's also growing. So for us, it's a win-win. 
We want to give Brittany surface so that when she's changing the baby, she has somewhere to put all the lotions and potions and everything else you need for baby changing. <gasps> Thank you. And then just have everything at hand so that when she's changing, she can just grab everything and it's just really easy. Where's the little dress? <laughs> we added these little um, rings here for a place for Brittany to hang up all of the baby's new clothes. So it just becomes a nice little hanging space and it looks so cute. <laughs> so we added the cladding in the ceiling because when we first walked in, the room kind of felt like just a plain white box and we wanted to introduce that indoor outdoor feel. Brittany is in a place where there's a lot of natural greenery outside and it feels like a forest. So we wanted to add some wood cladding into the space to make it almost feel like a really cool bungalow, almost like a little tree house for her poppy to grow up in and make it her own little magical getaway. We added recessed lighting into the space to give Brittany a nice control of temperature for the light so that if she didn't want to have this nice smaller little night light and she needed more task lighting, then she would have above uh, lighting coming down. It's on a dimmer so she'll be able to control how much light is coming into the space. If you're coming in at night and the baby's crying, you can kind of dim it 20% and you won't bother the baby. So I think we're almost there. We're really excited to show Brittany and we're just gonna zhuzh it up a little bit and finish it up. Perfect. Oh, I love this one. She can pick up all these pillows and really just lay down with the baby and it just becomes really cozy. Are we missing something? No, right? Ooh, give him my, my selfie. I love that there. it. Brittany, here is Gosh. your nursery. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that I'm reaction dying. and I'm happy you're doing that. <laughs> I can't even. It's so cute, right? Oh my gosh. Look at, wow. Look at the cladding. Isn't it so cute? Uh, Were you expecting that? <laughs> just with the room, how it looked before to this. Complete, right? Day and night. Day and night. But it includes <laughs> everything that we talked about and all the inspiration. Brittany, isn't the glider so good? Oh my goodness. I love it. It's, uh, it's so, it's going to be so comfortable. I can totally imagine you sitting here feeding the baby yeah. and then you have this mobile that will add some nice little visual for the baby when you're like sitting there. I love the material too that it seems like I don't have to be super super careful with right. it in case I do spill or I mean I'm going to try to keep it as clean as possible <laughs> but I love that it looks like I can live in it and actually use it which is really exciting to me. And then we wanted to give you a nice little storage basket over here so like That's if you're burping idea. and you want to throw them into a basket you can throw them in there and then wash them out later. I need to keep it as clean as possible this is so pretty you how like it is. you like the selfie camera? I I love it. <laughs> Her first toy. We're already like promoting her. We're like, you're gonna grow up to be a, a little, a cute little uh, photographer. So cute. <laughs> and then you ready for the best part? Yes. Storage oh my under goodness. the ottoman. I mean, isn't that so good? Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Especially if I'm in a hurry too, I need to just hide stuff. Yeah, really like cool. throw the mushroom in. They're coming. Go, 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 go. I love that. That is that is a really good idea. I love that. Yeah, we loved having extra storage. So anywhere we could introduce that. Too, yeah, in the yeah, whole and then closet. the closet so situation. Nice. Oh, huge improvement. <laughs> Remember the old one. <laughs> Well, I cannot forget them. <laughs> this is so nice and so much sleeker. Yeah. But I love that it still looks appropriate for our nursery. Exactly. Like we wanted to keep the details still very like feminine and cool. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want to overdo it and make it feel too adult. Right. Um, that we brought in the nice love little these. pool. Right. So cute. And then you have all that storage now for all the diapers that you're going to need. <laughs> yeah. And I love that these are the pull out instead of the sliders, which exactly. were so cumbersome before. Yeah. And then you could just come in, open it, and then it's just a, a nice, easy close. And so then when nice. you're sitting here, like it, oh, it's just I gonna become such it. a good corner. Yeah, test it. It's gonna become <laughs> such so a good corner. Oh. 
And Jaden's then we, gonna want to hang out in here too. Uh, that's She's what gonna... we figured. I feel like everyone's gonna come in here. The doggies can sit I on know. the little pillows, and you can be sitting here. So Anthony can give you a foot massage. Uh, he that's can pull a good the idea. right, like pull up the little ottoman, give you a nice little I foot love rub, this. and then you so have that little cute. pillow for this is support. Really comfortable, isn't it? I like this a lot. Oh my gosh. And the texture is so, so like lo I again, love like the you texture. said, it's so good for like spills and stains and things like that. And I love the crib. <sighs> so the good. Corners are so pretty and elegant, and this just fits so well. I loved it immediately. I feel like it feels like a crib, but then later on when it transforms into a little bed and you put a cute yes. little duvet, like the functionality of that it is going to so look nice. so good. We love that mid-century vibe. It kind of kept going with like the bungalow style that we were trying to recreate. And then you get this nice little featured wall. <laughs> I love that you went with the cork wall idea because yes. I had Anthony pull a couple of family pictures. So and cute. isn't it so cute just seeing you I and mean, Anthony young? growing and too. It's just, it's so sentimental. I love it. And on oh. this side, we added the changing table on this area, Brittany, just to hide it a little bit. But we still wanted to make it look really pretty. Such what do you a think? moment. <laughs> it's so beautiful. How this is all displayed is exactly what I wanted in here when I thought about having a little bit more colorful art, having right. an art wall, and this is so pretty. I love this. We added in some like beautiful life plants just to bring in a little bit of that, you know, natural indoor outdoor that the rest of the house already has. Right. Um, and then we wanted to give you a nice surface to put, like if you're changing the baby here, you can put so all the creams cute. and lotions and just have a nice little moment here. And then we like updated the, all these little pools just to give it a little bit so more pretty. of a glam look. But then you have like like a nice little night light here where you can oh, put that cute. at night and if she's taking a little nap like just have little soft lighting throughout so the space cute. and this flower okay. i right it's like so pretty does this move yeah this moves so if you awesome. wanted to oh, oh my no, god the teddy <laughs> <laughs> yeah this moves so if you wanted to so switch nice. it over on this side it gives you that flexibility yeah. of like making it work for you that's so cool this is Creighton kids we loved this piece it yes. went really well with the crib uh, and again it was just like a nice color that we thought would grow with poppy I mean, it goes so well in here I love yeah. it and then did you see your her little closet here so, I cannot <laughs> this is her little tiny outfit <laughs> we added these uh, really cool chain links here so that when you're so changing the great. baby you have a place like instead of like laying it here you have a place to hang her little outfits I love and then that. get ready to I can plan it out the night before. <laughs> Imagine. I'm so happy with everything. Oh, I'm so excited for I'm you. I'm so happy to bring her into this room. And Yay. also to have Jaden have sister time in here with her too. And I feel like she's going to be in here quite a bit. Oh yeah. That... She's going to be obsessed with the neon sign. Yeah. I feel like she's going to want us to recreate that in her oh, room yeah, too. Oh yeah, she will. She's going to be pulling some inspo in here. For I sure. love it. I want to say thank you so, so much for bringing my vision to life and making it exactly how I wanted. I obviously could not have do, done this without you. <laughs> oh. I love it. I'm so excited to bring Poppy in this room and make memories with her in here and just know that everything was so thoughtfully planned and designed. It's just so much more memorable even with the wall. It's just I love it. It's so well oh. thought out. Well thank you for trusting us so much. Oh my and gosh. Yeah I'm so excited for Poppy to be in here. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah. What you, doing? you have to kiss a little cheek. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy, you can't be right in my face if you're gonna burn. Oh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. You just kiss up your little face. Oh god. Oh, is that a nice little yawn? Oh.